In this tutorial, we will learn how to create walkthrough. So, for creation of, of walkthrough, you have to give any path, any is the shortcut, any path command. Now, here you, you will have to define the camera and target. So, you can define camera as a point or path, and target is also defined as a point or path. So suppose I want to define the camera as a point and target as a path. So for that I will have to create a path actually for target. So suppose I want to give target line. So for that I will create one line. Take the line command and I will take this make ortho on from this endpoint to this endpoint. In this way I want to show it. Skip. And then my camera I will fix suppose at some position so I will for that also I will draw one line take this line from this point to this point enter again press enter to repeat the line command from mid I will take it upward so here I want to keep the camera position so again give any path command any enter then for camera I will give a point so click on this and define camera here point name is ok then target will be path so click here and give this line as a target ok then adjust the duration suppose I want the animation for 5 seconds preview click on preview so in this way it will show you the walkthrough by keeping camera fix and giving a path so in this way you can also do the reverse also so for camera you can give a path and for target you can give a point so how to do that that we will see so for that uh, for camera actually we want to give a path so suppose we will create uh, one circle cir circle around this so for that click on this top and take the circle command and take some point here click and click outside so then orbit it and see the circle is created so I want this to be up so I will move it select object enter so suppose I will take make ortho on a pet and give some height suppose I am giving, giving it 2 meter as a height then I will again give any path command any path then for camera I will choose this path click on this select this circle ok for target I am choosing a point so again click on this button and give some point in between suppose I want to give point somewhere between here ok give the duration suppose 5 seconds again click on preview so it is going very fast so if you want to make it slow you will have to increase the time so it will run slower so here camera position actually target point I have to make it up so camera position is I will move this camera down actually move to show it properly move give the base point give the second point then again I will go for any path then for camera path click for target point click suppose I will give some point here ok then duration 15 second preview so it is showing that I am looking from down or I am so in this way you can give suppose path camera as a path and target as a point so same way you can give both as a path also so for that 
suppose uh, for giving that path we will create one more circle click the top so we will create a bigger circle than this or we will increase the click on this grip and increase the radius and we will keep one smaller circle as a target again circle give the center point then make this smaller circle now I will move this circle up move select object enter give the base point in the empty space give the direction and click again give any path then for camera path click this will be the camera ok for target also path click take this as a target ok give duration 20 second preview so in this way it is camera is also rotating and your target is also rotating so in this way you can show the building from all the sides very easily so in, in this way you can give target for both camera and target and from here you can see the different in different visual style how the effect is that you can see by changing it so it is with material actually the material we applied in the previous tutorial so in this way you can see the effect different effect sketchy wireframe then x-ray the transparent conceptual or shaded so in this way you can see the effect and if you want to reverse it by clicking on this you can make it flow reverse you can make it rotate reverse so in that way also you can do it then once all setting has been done you can choose the final output in which output you want so you can have also render image also if you want if you applied material and all those things you can see the render image or all these different and final presentation images also there so it will take time as per your settings to generate so I will take suppose shaded and it will take more time for generation so I will take suppose only 2 seconds so it will happen quickly then from here you can choose the type of file you want the extension of the file so normally I choose AVI file and from here you can control the resolution and then click on ok so it will then give the name suppose I will say animation or walkthrough and save so it will create a file for that here you can see so it has created actually so you can check that by clicking your browser so it is walkthrough by double clicking on it you can view it so in this way you can create a output file so click so if you I want to show the, it from inside now all these we have created from outside if I want to create it from inside so how to do that that we will see so we will just erase all these lines you don't need these lines so we'll just erase it enter then for showing from inside take your top view I don't want this camera also I will delete it click on, click on this top and make it wireframe so ok so same way I will have to draw two paths one for camera and one for target so that path should be connected so we will be using polyline so that it will remain connected so click on this polyline or before that suppose I want to show only one room so for that again you can use the circle actually suppose I want to show this room only so create one circle for our camera we will keep at a point so select one circle 
for target suppose this is my target so move it up so and for camera i will create one reference for point so i will create a line give l enter from center of this circle up to this point escape so from this point i will view towards this circle so again give any enter then for camera point click on this button give this point okay for target path is the options click on this button give this circle as a path okay then choose the duration suppose 10 second preview so in this way you can ch show the room from inside and you can adjust the height of the camera and the target to make a different views so in this way you can show a single room from inside so it will be useful for interior people's interior designer people's so yeah, this is showing one room and suppose i want to show the all the rooms so for that again we will go for top we will erase this e enter select object enter so for that i will have to create two path one for camera and other for target so the path should be connected so i will use polyline suppose i will start from here from this room so at first i am creating uh, target path so i will make the object snap off so that it will not go anywhere so it will come at a position i want and click the way you want to you want your target or to move or in a sequence you want to show the rooms you draw the line target line so from this room i will directly come to this room okay escape this is a target line then i will need a camera line so again for that i will create a polyline suppose from so these two lines camera line and target line should not co cross each other so i will go in this room so take care that both don't cross each other otherwise it will not create the walk through ok enter then i will move the, these lines so take move command take this target line enter base point give the height then again enter take this camera line enter give the other point so again give any enter then for camera click on this button take this inner path ok for target take this external path ok give some more time because it is a bigger path and click on this preview so it will go in inside each and every room and it will show it so you will have to do some hit and trials and adjust the things properly and to remove the jerking it is actually jerking in between so you can remove that by giving a fillet to the camera path and so for giving that fillet click on this fillet so that it will move smoothly so give the fillet then select then click on this radius take one point give the other point suppose i will take radius of 0.6 then click on this polyline option and click on one polyline so it will create the arcs at different points same way for a camera fillet select polyline select on the this arc so in this way it will give, give a smoothness then again go back to AC isometry zoom and again we will try it animation any any path then for camera 
this is the camera in internal okay and this is the target okay then preview okay we will have to increase the time actually so it's 40 second preview so it will go smoothly so you will have to adjust the actually height of target and camera properly so it will show it properly or best way you can go for individual rooms so that it will and then combine you have to combine it so if you want to the finally it okay it take the settings and okay so that file will be created so that's all we will stop here thank you